Pegasus, Snooping, Surveillance and Hacking. This is all we have been hearing for the last 3 days. But what is it all about? How does this work and how can you secure your phones? Here is what you all need to know. Number 1. How does Pegasus work and what information is compromised? Pegasus is a spyware developed by NSO Group which is a private Israeli company. It is marketed and licensed to governments across countries for various purposes. It is extremely sophisticated and can turn any device into a surveillance device. How does this work? There are many ways. Pegasus is extremely potent and powerful. From text links or messages to zero-click attacks that may not even require any action from phone's user, Pegasus can be installed in various ways. Yani ki khali ek miss call se bhi aapke phone ko infect kiya ja sakta hai. Reportedly, it earns the root level privileges. This means that this spyware acts like an administrator of the phone. It can run in the background and can send all your data to the server or the attacker. From WhatsApp, iMessages to even texts and calls, this spyware can exploit many vulnerabilities. Once in your phone, it can send your location, your chats, your text messages and even your call recordings to the attacker. Possibly the most dangerous thing is that it can control mobile's camera and microphone. The attacker can even uninstall the spyware from your phone whenever he wants. Now, this is the question how can we protect ourselves? In India, Pegasus spyware was reportedly used to bug 300 mobile phones and those were allegedly targeted include opposition leader Rahul Gandhi, two ministers in Narendra Modi cabinet, political strategist Prashant Kishore and over 40 journalists and activists. If their phone can be hacked, what about us? What can we do? How do we protect our mobile devices? The answer, unfortunately, is not very clear. As I said, this spyware is extremely powerful and potent. So there are only few things that we can do to secure our phones and that may or may not work. Washington Post, one of the media organizations behind this expose, says that one should always keep his or her phone updated at all times. Update your phone with the latest update and ensure that automatic updates are on. This will make sure that any loopholes that are exploited by these spywares may get patched up in the next update. Set strong passwords for your mobile devices and important application and whenever possible, turn on the two-factor authentication. The passwords must be unique and difficult to predict. Do not click on any link that appears to be malicious to you. Spywares are known to exploit these vulnerabilities. You can use the privacy or vanish mode for your text messages so that the messages do not get stored in your mobile phone for a very long time. From denial to contradictory statements, the government has said many things but yet everything is unclear. Who did it? Why was it done? Did the government authorize these attacks? And who will take the responsibility if these attacks are true? These are the some questions that are needed to be answered. The scandal is making a lot of noise in India because it involves many big influential people. The government must answer if these reports are true and if it authorized this snooping. We need an independent investigation in this scandal and those who are responsible for this must be held accountable. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section. And if you like this video, do not forget to drop in a like and subscribe to India Times.